Are you curious to discover the hidden gems of Tuscany, where every corner holds a story waiting to be told? Ever dreamed of wandering through medieval streets, sipping world-class wine under the Tuscan sun, or uncovering artistic masterpieces that have stood the test of time? Join us as we embark on journey through Tuscany's treasures. Top 10 Places You Can't Miss A Captivating Exploration of Italy's Heartland Immerse yourself in our travel guide and be prepared to fall in love with Tuscany's enchanting landscapes and rich history. Don't forget to subscribe for this unforgettable Italian adventure. Let the journey begin. Number 10. Lucca Lucca, the city where history and charm hold hands and stroll down ancient streets. This isn't just a city, it's a storybook with a 4 kilometers long ring wall as its spine, offering views that'll have your camera working overtime. The cathedral and the church of San Michele aren't just religious sites, they're architectural masterpieces with squares that could make a piazza jealous. Climbing the Torriganigi isn't just a workout, it's a journey to breathtaking views, topped off with a crown of trees. It's like Mother Nature's own rooftop garden, and for a splash of green, the botanical garden is where plants and history blend seamlessly, offering a tranquil oasis away from the city buzz. But Luca's not all serene and quiet, it knows how to party, especially at the Luca Comics and Games Festival, a carnival of creativity that turns the city into a vibrant hub of imagination. Number 9. Tuscan Maremma Welcome to Maremma, Tuscany's coastal crown jewel. This isn't just a seaside escape, it's a diverse wonderland. From sandy beaches that whisper secrets of the sea to Mount Amiata, standing tall and proud like nature's own skyscraper. Maremma is where the beach and the mountain have a friendly rivalry for your attention. Nature enthusiasts, get ready for a treat. The WWF parks, reserves, and oases here are like VIP lounges for wildlife, and the hidden bays and secluded beaches. They're like nature's own secret hideaways, perfect for those castaway selfies. But Maremma isn't just a pretty face, it's a historian's dream. From Etruscan necropolises to Renaissance jewels, every corner tells a story. Petigliano is not just a village, it's a historical treasure, etched into the landscape. And let's talk about the Saturnia thermal baths. It's like nature's own spa, offering a rejuvenating break from reality. Number 8. Chianti Chianti, the name alone sounds like a toast to the good life. Nestled between Florence and Siena, this region is a patchwork of rolling hills, medieval villages, and fields where sunflowers nod in the breeze. But it's not just a feast for the eyes, it's a culinary heaven. The wines here? Let's just say they're like liquid happiness in a bottle. And the food, cured meats, cheeses, and olive oil, is the kind of stuff that makes you want to write love letters to your taste buds. As you follow the wine roads, every turn brings a new vineyard, a new flavor, a new reason to smile. Castles like Volpaia and Meledo aren't just historic sites, they're time machines to a chivalrous past. And the villages, oh the villages, Montefioraia, Bertin, each one is like a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. For the adventurers, the Via Francigena offers paths where every step feels like a journey through history. Number 7. Garfignana Garfignana, the secret slice of paradise tucked between the Apuan Alps and the Apennines, is the perfect escape from the hustle and bustle. It's like Mother Nature's secret garden, with its lush forests, rugged mountains, and postcard perfect landscapes. The Devil's Bridge isn't just any old bridge, it's a medieval marvel that looks like it's straight out of a fairy tale. And the Orito di Battery, it's a gorge so stunning, even the eagles are bragging about their homes. Don't miss the Grotta del Vento, a cave that's more like a natural cathedral, sculpted by nature's own hands. And the Hermitage of Calamini, carved into the rock, makes you wonder if the Flintstones had Italian cousins. Castelnuovo di Garfignana, with its charming cathedral and the poetic Rocca Riostesca, is a nod to the poet Ludovico Ariosto. Number 6. Pisa. Welcome to Pisa, where it's not just the tower that leans, it's your head, leaning in amazement at every turn. This city is more than a photo op with a wonky tower. Pisa is a patchwork of architectural wonders. The Piazza dei Miracoli, more like the Square of Miracles. Here, the cathedral and the largest baptistery in Italy stand tall, each telling a tale of medieval grandeur. But Pisa is not all about looking up. Take a stroll along the Lungarno Medicio, 
with a river place tag with historic buildings, and for a touch of the dramatic, the Gothic Church of Santa Maria della Spina looks like it's straight out of a Gothic fairy tale, spiky, spunky, and absolutely stunning. Don't just walk past the Piazza dei Cavalieri, it's like stepping into a Renaissance painting, and Borgo Stretto, it's the city's heartbeat with lively cafes and vibrant shops. Number 5. Tuscan Archipelago Set your compass to the Tuscan Archipelago National Park, a constellation of seven islands each with its own personality. Elba, the big brother of the group, offers a cocktail of beautiful beaches, Napoleon's historic house, and hiking trails with views that'll make your camera blush. Giglio, the charming sibling, seduces with crystal clear waters and ancient ruins. It's like stepping into a postcard. For the adventurers, Gianutri and Capraia are the underwater playgrounds. Grab your snorkel and dive into a world where fish are the locals and shipwrecks tell tales of ancient mariners. But wait, there's more. Monte Cristo and Pianosa are the shy ones, with access as exclusive as a VIP party. Only nature lovers on the guest list. And then there's Gorgna, the mysterious one with a prison. It's like Alcatraz, but with better views and Italian cuisine. Number 4. Florence Florence, ah, the jewel in Italy's crown. This isn't just a city, it's an open-air museum where every street corner has a story to tell. Art buffs, brace yourselves. The Uffizi Gallery isn't just a gallery, it's a treasure chest of masterpieces. Think Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Da Vinci. Yes, the big guys. Take a leisurely walk along the Arno River to Ponte Vecchio, the bridge where bling isn't just a style, it's a tradition. Golden gems glitter in the old shops like stars in a Tuscan night. And then, there's the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. This isn't just a church, it's a masterpiece of marble and a tower that seems to touch the sky. Climb up if you dare, the view's worth the leg workout. Need a break from the hustle? Boboli Gardens at Palazzo Pitti is your spot. It's not just a garden, it's an outdoor art gallery with statues that could give Michelangelo a run for his money. Number 3. Siena Welcome to Siena, where the past and present play tag in the streets. This medieval gem, nestled in the Tuscan hills, is more than just a city, it's a living, breathing museum. The heart of the city, Piazza del Campo, isn't just a square, it's an architectural hug. It's so uniquely shaped, it's like the city is giving you a big warm welcome. And the Palio Horse Race? It's not just a race, it's the Kentucky Derby with an Italian twist. The Palazzo Publico is like a time capsule of art, with works by Lorenzetti and Simone Martini. It's like the Sistine Chapel's cool cousin. The Cathedral of Siena, where Romanesque meets Gothic, is so stunning. It'll make your Instagram filters jealous. And the floor, it's not just marble, it's a storybook in stone. Number 2. Valdorsha Next up, Valdorsha. It's like Tuscany decided to show off. Rolling hills, poetic meadows, and cypress trees that look like they've been calmed by Mother Nature herself. This UNESCO site isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's a banquet for the soul. Imagine villages like Castiglione d'Orsha, Pienza, and San Quirico d'Orsha, so charming they seem to have leaped out of a Renaissance painting. And oh, Montalcino! This isn't just a town, it's the holy grail for wine lovers. Brumello di Montalcino isn't just a wine, it's a reason to celebrate life. Think rich, bold, and ready to woo your taste buds. And the local cuisine. Let's just say truffles and olive oil here could win culinary Oscars. Every bite and sip in this valley is like a high five to your senses. Number 1. Well Delsa. Step into the magical Well Delsa, nestled south of Florence, where the Elsa River's gentle ripples bring stories from the past. This isn't just any valley, it's a picturesque canvas where nature and history dance together. Imagine wandering through Grotta del Orso, a cave shrouded in mystery, or relaxing in Caldane's ancient thermal springs, once the beloved retreat of Etruscans. Fancy a splash? The river is ready for you. But wait, there's more. San Gimignano, aka the medieval Manhattan, stands tall with its UNESCO-listed towers, painting a skyline that's a selfie paradise. And their saffron. It's like gold dust, just a stone's throw away. Volterra awaits, a hub of alabaster craft that turns stone into treasure. And don't even get me started on Monteriggioni, 
This village is so medieval, you'll expect a knight to say hello. Stroll the ancient walls where Dante might have mused over his divine comedy. There you have it, the top 10 treasures of Tuscany, each with its unique charm and story. Which one captured your heart? Let us know in the comments and remember to subscribe for more captivating travel guides.